This is SAT test 7, calculator section question 35. They're asking for the solution of a nonlinear system of equations. We have a quadratic and a linear. Since this is a calculator section, the easiest way is to graph it on your calculator. Go to y equals and put x squared minus 4x plus 4 into y1. Go down to y2 and put in 4 minus x. Hit graph, perhaps in the standard window, zoom 6, and you get a graph that looks something like this. This is x minus 2 quantity squared, so it's a parabola touching the x-axis at x equals 2. And this is a line with an intercept of 4 and a slope of negative 1, and it looks something like this. Find the point of intersection. Calculate, intersect, just hit enter three times. You don't need to use your cursor to move near the point of intersection, and I get x equals 0. Their question, what's one possible value of x? I just found it. Alternatively, intersect, hit enter twice, move over near the other point, the one over here, and hit enter again, and you get x equals 3. Either one of these answers is acceptable. If you want to do this by hand, we have two expressions that are equal to y, so I can set them equal to each other x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 4 minus x. Add x to both sides, x squared minus 3x, subtract 4 from both sides, so that 4 minus 4 is 0. I've subtracted everything on the right, so that's 0. Factor, and I have a product that equals 0. If a product equals 0, either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0. Add 3 to both sides and I get x equals 0 or x equals 3. And that's it for solving systems of equations that are solved for y on the calculator section. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.